if we take care of the earth, then I think there are issues that we encounter that might be reduced. Talk about invasive species, plastic pollution, oil pollution, noise pollution, air pollution, the different issues, they are all related to the environment. My conservation career started intentionally, I think that was like nine years ago, doing my MSc in ecology and environmental biology. Next step for my NGO is, it still boils down to partnerships and collaboration. Funds are important, yes. It's through partnerships, it's through networking, you can actually also get a lead to funds. I've made use of so much opportunities on the wild hunt. Once I applied, I always, I always got um, the sponsorship or the scholarship. So wild hunt has really been very useful to me. I didn't, ha I didn't have a mentor. Most of, of my colleagues left school without still doing, you know, practicing the, this, our area of specialization. Most of them went into banking and other things, right? So because we don't have a way of appreciating what we are doing, try to know the practical part of it, how you can bring it to reality, instead of seeing it as getting a degree, right? So that has been a problem. That was why when I became a, a faculty member, I try to see how I can change that. Why the hell kept up light in me? That this, that this part of me that I've been wanting to do something, trying to find a headway on how to do something, but don't actually know how to do it. But when I joined White Hope last year, I got an inspiration. I had this enthusiasm, this flame of fire in me that this is actually what I should have done all this while. You know, White Hope made me, the community made me to actually see, okay, this is it. So I got inspired, especially in our first White Hope Advocate meeting, socials, you know, when we all discussed what we did and all whatnot. I left that meeting that day a change person. True. Yeah. I decided I was going to set up my own organization. In fact, I didn't know I can do that if I hadn't been a White Hub member. We, we are conservationists at heart. That is what drives us. That is what we love. And we decided to just form our own organization because we can't just keep volunteering. It's awesome to volunteer, but we also need to build careers and be able to meet our living expenses. Having a, let me call it a sense of community to rely on. We discussed that we will be meeting every month to give each other peer support and also to just keep each other accountable. So how far have you gone? What challenges are you having? How can we help? And what are your wins? Those wins need to be celebrated no matter how big, no matter how small. We really appreciate the mentorship or just connecting and talking, having conversations with people because yeah. the conversations we've had with people from the World Hub community, they've been like very encouraging, very eye-opening. The same way with starting your own organization, your own business, it can be lonely and you need that human interaction. You need two people who are telling you and cheering you on. The first time I attended the World Hub Social, actually, what struck me was I was with older people in the, in the room and it was a free flow discussion. Free, uh, non-discriminatory free learning, free sharing. And I think that's that's one way Wild Hub has, has helped me a lot. I will really think we, we need a lot more youngsters to actually get onto this space to learn from each other and even from older people. I feel like it's good for us to amplify each other's voices. Also as young African conservationists, we don't have a lot of platforms where we can make a lot of noise about the work we're doing. It's, it's beautiful to be in a space where you can just say what's on your mind without feeling any fear of judgment. Nature is there for us to learn. And so if you look at um, where you plant a seed in the ground, it takes time to germinate, it goes through different stages. The same thing with having an organization. You know, there are going to be days where you want to give up, but if you know your why of starting it, then you can patiently pass through each season. I want to use this medium to tell people globally to Take it up upon yourself, especially now we have this climate crisis all over. We have flooding, we have wildfire, we have a whole lot happening across you know, the globe. Let you begin to have this change to voluntarily become part of what we do in White House. In your own yeah. way, try to see 
what you can do about nature to be able to conserve what we have or how we can sustainably use it so that we can actually have a world that we can always be proud of.